What's up everyone, this is Puka, bringing you another video from Pokemon TCG Online. This time around I'm using my Excelgore deck. Now Excelgore, it used to be one of the most feared decks in the entire format last season, when you had the Bileplume, the Chandelure. Once you got that deck and cover lock with the Trainer Lock and the Curse Shadow, you know, there really wasn't much your opponent could do about it. Now, here in this format, uh, it's a little bit weaker. <laughs> and, you know, you just don't have Vileplume anymore. That is the main problem. You can still get the Gothitelle with the Magic Room, but now you don't have the Chandelure option to lock your opponent in place all the time. So, it's just a lot weaker in general. And we'll see if it can actually work out this game. So, my hand opening here is not very good. Maybe if I had some stuff to search out some basics, it wouldn't be so bad. But the way it is, it's just not that great. And as you can see, this hand is not much better. So one of the biggest obstacles for this deck, of course, is it takes forever to set up. And this is the biggest downfall. If you could set this up immediately every game, it wouldn't be a problem. You could still just deck and cover all the time. You would win eventually. But the way it is now, there's really nothing you can do about it. And uh, also my Venusaur is prized, which is pretty essential for this deck to keep the lock going. But, nothing we can do about that, and I'm going to have to end my turn. So, the whole point of this deck is to get Gothitelle with the Dark Energy on it. Then you can use Deck and Cover with Excelgore. You can use Mew EX to copy the Excelgore's attack. You paralyze your opponent every turn. You set up the Gothitelle. That way they cannot use cards like Switch to move their active Pokemon uh, and get out of paralysis. That's the main problem. So here my opponent will go ahead and catcher my Gothita. See if he has anything else. And yep, there is a Juniper. It looks like we're facing an electric deck at this point. Uh, as you can see by the Tynamo. Now this is going to be one of the tougher matchups just because the things that get in your way with this deck there's a couple of them. Number one is stuff that can knock out your poor Gothitelles in one hit. And okay, looks like my opponent failed miserably on the Celestial Roar. But one of the problems is your opponent can just knock out your Gothitelle in one hit. Nothing you can do about it. And you're going to end up losing. Not much you can do about it, to be honest. Um, the other thing that can happen is they can knock out your benched Excelgore. That is bad as well. So we'll see if we can actually avoid any of these things from happening. Alright, so I'm going to Ultra Ball. I get another pretty bad hand. Um, and I don't really know what to go for at this point. There are two Gothitelles in my deck, though. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and grab a Shelmet this turn. Seems like the way to go. Um, it's tough. You, you have a lot of resources that you don't want to waste in this matchup. I didn't want to put down the Mew EX right away because that could just be two prizes my opponent gets immediately. And I think I'm just going to grab a Shelmet at this point. Let's take a look. Yep. Let's just throw that down with a double colorless. And I'm going to have to pass. I got no options here. Next turn I'm going to be able to Juniper. But for now, that is all I got. So my opponent gets two electrics out right off the bat. I might be able to stall for some time here eventually with Pokemon Catcher and Magic Room. Um, so that Raikou is going to be the other problem. They can knock out my Benched Excelgore. And it looks like he might actually be able to Volt Bolt this turn. So I am going to be in loads of trouble. Absolute loads of trouble. Rayquaza, bad. Forgot to tell. Raikou, bad for Excelgore. And these are all I have to work with. So, at this point, I don't know how to approach this matchup. I'm going to have to get fairly lucky, I think. Otherwise, I'm going to be in all sorts of trouble. Uh, my opponent is going to Dynamotor twice. He has a perfect start. You know, he went first. Turn two, double electric. Going to Volt Bolt me turn two, it looks like. Ugh. Uh, not too much I can do to deal with this unless I got a perfect start myself. There are two switches in his discard pile, which might end up mattering eventually. You never know. But the way things look right now, it is ugly. And he's going to target down that Shelmet, which actually took a double colorless with it. 
And another double colorless in my hand is horrendous. Um, double colorless is the lifeline of this deck. You probably don't win if you have to discard two of them, which is what I'm going to have to do right here. So I'm going to go ahead and attach it, and all I can do is Juniper here. And not a whole lot else. <laughs> um, I can bench this Shelmet, I suppose. And after that, let's see. He's used two switches already, so that's one way we could take advantage of this. I could play this catcher, drag out an electric, and hope and pray there's no switch in his hand. Let's see. I'm going to wait to use this super rod because my third shelmet is prized. Uh, let's go ahead and play this level ball. And let's see if I have anything useful in here. I could grab the Gotharita at this point. I don't know how useful it's going to be. Could just go ahead and get a knockout on that anyway. Um, let's see. There's not much that can knock me out besides a fire energy with the um, with his board. But I'm just going to grab a Gothita anyway, because I fully assume that I'm getting knocked out. So I'm actually just going to try to buy some time with Hypnotic Gaze, which fails miserably. And uh, if things continue this way, I might just end up getting destroyed. And there's an Enhanced Hammer for my troubles. <laughs> That's no good. Um, so he's going to attach again to Raikou. That means I am actually probably safe this turn. He won't be able to Volt Bolt me. And he's going to level ball for another Electric. Might have another Juniper, or just thinning out his deck. So the most he can do is Thunderfang now. Unless he had a switch, then he'd be able to Volt Bolt me. Because he already attached first turn. Looks like just a Thunderfang though, which is useful for me. Now at this point, um... It doesn't look like he has a switch. He probably would have played that. So I'm going to go ahead and just attach a dark to the Gothita. Actually, I might not do that just because I need to Ultra Ball this turn. Let's take that one back. And let's Ultra Ball away the Random Receiver and the Dark Energy. Going to just take this Gotharita, I think. Put that down. Super Rod in. Let's see. Shelmet, Excelgor, and I might need the Dark Energy. I don't need the Gothazel, I don't think. Since there are two more in my deck. Uh, there's a second Super Rod as well, so I'm going to catch her out Electric for now. Juniper, and let's hope we can get something going. But that does not look like something. <laughs> um. So I really need to hope to buy some time here. I can put down the Excelgor, uh, but he could just Volt Bolt it. So I don't know what the right play is on that. There are no Lightning in his discard pile though. So he's going to need a Switch and a Lightning Energy to pull something off. So I'm just going to end my turn here, and let's hope we draw some stuff soon. Uh, I do need a Dark Energy at some point, so I can go ahead and, oh, no anything from him. So this is good. Uh, I can level ball for another Shelmet now. We can start getting into motion. Let's see, we'll drop the other Shelmet. And I don't want to play my N. He does not have much in his hand. I might need to set up, but at this point, it's tough to tell what I could do. Um, Bianca's only going to give me two cards if I bench this Mew. The end's going to give me a fresh hand of 6, but it's going to give him a fresh hand of 5 as well. And it doesn't look like he has much. So I'm just going to take a little risk. We'll bench this Mew of Bianca for 2. Hope for Gothitelle. Didn't get it. That's okay. Uh, we'll attach to this and end my turn because I just don't have much else to work with. And look at that. My opponent doesn't even have an energy. Now this turn I might have to start making a move. I don't want to just keep drawing cards. Uh, it's too dangerous. 
to just rely on my top deck. And if I get a rare candy, got to tell. This could end up working well for me. But it looks like I didn't get any of the above. And now I'm in tons of trouble again. I can switch and deck and cover this turn, I suppose. Force him to burn a switch. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Let's switch to Mew. And let's deck and cover. 50 plus the poison and paralysis. I'm going to try to see if I can make him waste a switch. If he does have a switch, it's going to be some trouble. But uh, nope, once again, no switch. And I'm going to have to random receiver for a supporter here. Let's see what I get. Bianca wouldn't be a bad one. Juniper is fine with me. So I have not played a rare candy yet. I'm going to have to Juniper this hand away. Hopefully we can start getting a lock up soon. Alright, so I get an Ultra Ball. Uh, I think I'm going to have to discard the Bulbasaur. Venusaur is prized, so... Sorry, Bulbasaur, but you're hitting the discard. Oh, cancel the Mew. <laughs> oh, that would have been bad. Uh, misclicks, unfortunately, are part of Pokemon TCG Online. That can be bad sometimes. So let's see here. Go ahead and grab a Gothitelle. I think I'm just going to rare candy into it. Um, actually, it would be better for me to just evolve. And then maybe I'll be able to find a way around this. I'll drop the Mew and the Double Colorless. And let's see. There's currently 70 on that electric. And I'm just going to pass. He doesn't have an energy. Uh, he's just gonna have to pass. It'll get knocked out. I'll have to promote a new Pokemon. That's my ideal situation. And uh, oh, there's an energy though. So now there's a decision my opponent has to make. Does he want to retreat? And then what does he do? Does he simply Dragon Burst for 120? There are no energy in his discard pile. He can't play Switch. Or he can retreat and Thunder Fang. That would be probably the better play. If he gets heads, I would be in a ton of trouble. Tails is a big risk, though. Then his Raikou will get knocked out. So this is going to be a huge flip for this Thunder Fang. If he gets heads, I'm stuck. And he'll probably knock out my Gothitelle. And I'm going to have a tough time winning from there. Tails, though, I get to start the deck and cover lock. He's going to be in some trouble. And I could end up winning this game. We'll see. Thunder Fang, okay, he gets Tails. So that is... A tremendous flip goes in my favor. So, random receiver. The struggle at this point is going to be constantly getting the deck and cover off with Mew. Um, now, we're just going to have to draw my double colorless all game. Uh, I do have a couple turns of it here. But now the lock begins. We will deck and cover. Paralyze this Raikou EX. Set up the Gothitelle. This is what every turn is going to be from this point on. Deck and cover, deck and cover, deck and cover. Shut off trainers. If I can get a rare candy got to tell here, that's perfect. That's what I need to keep up my lock. Uh, I should have a rare candy and a got to tell left in my deck. Uh, my deck is actually very small at this point, which is fortunate for me. Should be able to keep up some stuff. Uh, let's random receiver. Are there any supporters left in my deck? We'll find out. No. There's also no rare candy left in my deck. Interesting. <laughs> um, but let's see, it's going to be really tough to keep up the lock just because I had to discard those double colorless early on. But we will deck and cover once again. Send up Gothitelle. Hope for the best. Hopefully we get a rare candy off the prize. So there's only two, three rare candy in here. Uh oh. That would explain something. <laughs> And let's see, there's 140 damage on this Raikou. Looks like I'm not going to be able to use deck and cover this turn. That is bad. Very bad for a lot of reasons. <laughs> and I'm not sure how to approach this now. Could just leave this active. If I do that, I just get knocked out basically. Um, let's see, what are my other options? I can catch her. Bring up an electric. That's another option. Then I could set up a night spear where I do, let's see. I do get two prizes off of it. 
three prizes actually if I take this electric. That could be one way to win. Um, it's very risky, but I think I have to go for it at this point. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four. There's a dark energy left in my deck, so I could pull this off. There's a super rod as well. So we're going to start powering up Darkrai. Catch out this electric with a ton of damage on it. He can't play switch, so he's going to be stuck up there. Let's see, it's 140, that's exactly enough. And I'm just going to end my turn. Sometimes you have to get crafty with this deck, folks. Uh, it doesn't always work as planned. We're going to hope to draw another dark energy sometime soon. Uh, like this turn would be good. And he ends me, so there's a good shot. I'll draw it. But I did not draw it. It's a Sky Arrow Bridge. I don't think that'll do much. And I whiffed my dark energy. That's not good. So at this point, I'm not sure how to go about this. Let's see how many energy he's gone through. It's one fire. Two, three, fire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lightning energy. He's got energy left, that's for sure. Let's see. Is it worth <laughs> getting rid of my third double callless energy on the Stark Eye? Because certainly I will be knocked out. Um, I mean, Rayquaza is just going to come up, Dragon Burst me in the face, and that will be the end of poor Darkrai. Do I have another option here? Can I actually afford to wait this out? I don't think so. I really need to get my rare candy out of the prizes. So we're just going to level ball. There's nothing to actually get. Uh, I'll be left with one double callless the rest of the game. And there actually wasn't a dark energy in there either. So this is going to be my big turn. Um, I'll go ahead and bench the Mew, because why not? And we're going to have to Night Spear, knock out that electric and this Raikou as well. We'll get a turn of trainers, but I really didn't have a choice. Gonna take three prizes, get the rare candy, that's essential. But at this point I'm really gonna need to get lucky. Uh, I'm only gonna have one double callless left in my deck, and I'm gonna need to draw it every turn. I'm out of supporters apparently. That's not cool. And if he ends me, I'm going to be even in even more trouble. Uh, there's just no way for me to avoid that. No supporters left, so I'm going to have to get lucky with this one double call list the rest of the game. We'll see what happens, folks. The Excelgore deck can be very fragile at times, and there is a second Raikou. That's going to make this even more difficult. Um, he's going to power that up, it looks like. And at this point, he's fully set up, but... Doesn't look like he has any trainers in his hand to take advantage of the situation. So that's fine with me. I'm just going to promote the Mew. I don't think I have any other option. And drop this double callless. Rare candy into another Gothitelle. Uh, I think I can put down another Shelmet at this point. Actually, I need the Darkrai. Duh. <laughs> so. Uh, one card left. I will not be able to deck and cover next turn, I don't think. Um, unless I top deck the double colorless. Reason being, I have one Mew. My last card's the Mew. So I'm going to have to deck and cover here. It's unfortunate, but I have to do it. There's only one double colorless left in my deck. If I top deck the double colorless, I can use deck and cover with Excelgore. Uh, then I'm going to need to top deck it again next turn. Oh, I top decked it this turn. Okay, there's one. Alright, how do I want to go about this? Clearly this is not a good situation. I will be able to use deck and cover. But is it worth the risk? Uh, I'm going to throw down this other shelmet. You know, I, I don't really think I have a choice at this point. I'm going to have a 1 in 5 shot of drawing into this again. But I kind of have to go for it. There's no other way I can win this game other than just getting lucky at this point. <laughs> and so I'm going to need to cross my fingers, folks. Let's hope for that double call us one more time. And hope we can do it. Otherwise, I'm going to lose this game for sure. Let's see, where is it? No, I didn't get it. 
So now he's going to be able to retreat this guy. And I don't know of any way I can actually win anymore. This is the problem with this deck. You know, you have so many obstacles to go through in an entire game. You have to try not to discard your double call list. You have to try not to lose too many resources. Um, you could get end. It takes a while to set all this stuff up. So right now, I just really cannot pull off anything. Gonna need to pass. Unfortunately, he'll have 20 hit points left. I think I'm out of catchers at this point. And yeah, all I can do is pass. I could have retreated and just tried to sacrifice a Pokemon, but then he just would have used Volt Bolt to knock me out. So this 30 damage on each Gothitelle is actually horrible for me. To be able to Dragon Burst one, Volt Bolt the other, and there's nothing I can really do about it. I still need to draw my last double colorless. Uh, let's see, I've gone through a good share of supporters, but I think there's a couple prized. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it looks like there's a couple prized, but nothing I can do about that. So at this point, I can just promote Gothitelle. Nothing I can really do. I draw the double colorless. It's not going to be too helpful at this point. Uh, I mean, I can deck and cover. But I'd rather just kind of wait. Try to draw the Mew and deck and cover with that. But if I do that... Well, honestly, there's just not a whole lot I can do at this point. So I'm just going to end my turn. Hopefully he doesn't have any switches left, which I'm sure he does. Um, and yeah, there's really nothing I can do at this point. This is the downfall of Gothitel, Excelgore. Uh, it just takes too much to get going. You know, if I were able to keep up this lock every single turn, I might have had a chance. Maybe if the Venusaur wasn't prized, I would have been able to pull some stuff out. Um, or if I didn't have to discard two double colorless early on and use the third one to Night Spear to get that triple knockout, you know, otherwise my Gothitel would have been done for. I wouldn't have been able to get out a, a second one. You know, this is just unfortunate. Now he can even just Volt Bolt for the last prize. So he has 20 hit points left. Um, I don't have a catcher or anything like that. And yeah, that's just going to be the game. I'm going to deck and cover, of course. And just go ahead and do it. But now he can just Volt Bolt anything. Well, I mean, he can Volt Bolt Excelgore. <laughs> and yeah. That's going to be it. So we get down to one prize, but it was just a little short. Looks like... Oh, well, maybe there weren't, weren't any supporters prize. Maybe I just ran out. Something that can also happen. But yeah, that's going to wrap up this game. Unfortunately, I come out on the losing end as we head to the black screen of death once again. And yeah, there's just nothing you can do sometimes with this deck. It's very fearsome if you can set up quickly enough and have the lock going every single turn, but... You can see here, it didn't work, and this is what's going to happen a lot with this deck. You just fall apart, your Gothitelles get knocked out, your Excelgors get knocked out, you miss the double call list a couple turns, and you just lose. So that's going to wrap up this game, folks. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, figuring out this deck with me. See if I can improve it at all, and get it to work a little smoother, but the way it is now, it's not really too tournament viable, I don't think. You might have some success with it, but it's not a deck where you're going to go undefeated at a tournament. Just too much can go wrong. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll have some more videos up soon, and I'll see you guys next time.